Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I'm going to show you a beta process of the CyanogenMod installer. I've just uh, flashed my Nexus 4 back to stock and as you can see I have locked my bootloader. So I am just uh, booting back into Android so I can show the install process. Alright guys, I've booted back into Android and I've downloaded the CyanogenMod application uh, on Android. So as you can, actually I should probably turn the brightness down a bit here. Uh, okay. Uh, begin. Uh, uh, told me to go to Um, uh, I've got it. Now I'm just going to plug my phone into my computer. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera up a bit and run CM. Alright, guys, as you can see, it's. Uh, if I can zoom in a bit more. It says download and recovery software is flashing. This is literally is so far it's one click. So it's actually I'm really impressed by this. I, I probably shouldn't, seeing as he's a really, really smart guy is doing something that is really, really like hard to do. But yeah, the, this is flawless so far. I might actually um get my sister or my younger brother who aren't incredibly technically savvy to do the same process, flash it back to stock and relock the bootloader and record them doing it to see if quote unquote normal people can actually do this. And like I said, so far, so good. It's I'm not seeing any problems. I joined the beta program, I downloaded the CM APK um, and I've downloaded the installer. So it's, this is really, it's kind of trippy in a sense that when you've been doing it for years the, the other way, like the harder way, where you've had to like get ADB and fastboot all set up. And then on the Nexus it's relatively easy. It's OEM fastboot unlock or something like that. Or fastboot OEM unlock. And it's it literally having something like this, a GUI installer, is just kind of pressure relieving. I don't have to worry. But even on a Nexus, I worry about screwing my phone up when I'm installing a custom ROM. I don't know why, but like this, this is, this just takes all that away. And phones that OEMs have given up on that are actually supported by CM. If, say, my little brother had a Galaxy S2 and he was just sick of getting touch with, I'd plug it in if it eventually supported it, I'd plug it in and I'd flash CM and I'd tell him to go on with it and be happy. And I wouldn't worry about bricking his phone because then I'd have to give him a phone if I bricked his. Doing this like this is... I could tell him to go do it and I wouldn't be worried about him messing it up. It's it's kind of that easy. I mean, I don't know if it's clouded because I know what to do, but so far this is... This is kind of really weird. I don't know how to... <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I kind of don't really know what to say. This is really good. Like, at the moment, it's currently downloading the system applications. And I must say, the the actual installer itself is incredibly pretty. And on the next was for the companion app. Also, uh, it's pretty, and it works incredibly well, actually. So... Uh, Basically on the Nexus 4, I already ran it a minute ago before uh, you saw it, and it basically told me to switch from MTP to PTP. And instead of me worrying about how to do it, the uh, the phone just opened up the settings on its own, and then just basically had to click the PTP button. So when they can make the install process as simple as that, instead of saying, all right, you have to go into settings and then go down to about phone and then tap on the build number about seven times, then become a developer, then go into developer options and then enable USB debugging. If they can get past all of that, they've really got a winner here. It's something like I said, it's something you don't need to worry about. It's not something you have to learn how to do. You download the app, you download the companion app, which they like tell you where to get it. And it it's a step-by-step -step process. I, I'm genuinely wondering if there is room for error on the user's end here. And so, so far, it doesn't look like there is. And that's that's really weird. I'm, I'm not 
I like it. Like I said, it's taking the pressure off completely. And if I'm honest, the more people on CM, the better. I mean, some of the stuff they're doing at the moment is is phenomenal. So the the new privacy guard stuff, uh, when they eventually get it on, up and running, the secure messaging, uh, we've got CM account now. So all the stuff they're doing, if they can make the install as simple as this to get it all up and running, that is... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, if they can make the install as good as this and up and running, this is this is brilliant. All right, guys, now you can say everything is ready. Click it, uh, click install to continue. Your device will be factory reset during this process. Yep, that's that's good. All right, I'm gonna click install here. I'm gonna have the Nexus for if I zoom out a bit. There you go. You probably won't be able to see the screen very much, but I've got when it's for here, it's just rebooted into fast bit mode. Uh, I press volume up buttons and then select yes. Alright. They basically just showed me how to unlock my bootloader. And again, that was that was incredibly simple. I didn't have to worry about anything. Yeah, installing. Do not unplug your device or reboot. Alright, I've got Sid showing up on my Nexus 4. Giving us a nice little wave there. Right, Andy's just rebooted. And now on the computer, if we go back here and zoom. Go on. There we go. Inst installation complete. Congratulations. You have successfully installed Sanji Mod. We hope you enjoy your new mobile operating system. Please wait while your device boots. And of course, we are booting into Sanji Mod here. And everyone is happy. So if we give it a second, I should sh it should show up with my Sanji account. Oh. Uh, sorry guys, I got a sore throat. <clears throat> I should really get like time and music or like waiting. I don't know. Maybe. Like the lift, the uh, music you hear in lifts or like the music you hear when you're in hole on a call center. I should really get some of that music. Because uh, it's much better than hearing me ramble on and on and on. Uh, but obviously, once it boots up to the CM account. I'll exit the Sanjay Mod installer, though I can. Uh, I can exit it now, if I so wish. Less said I'd rather wait until... Yeah, I've just got the uh, vibrate on my Nexus 4, to, and here we are. We are booted up, and that is how quickly it was. Alright guys, so I've been Dom from Mobile Dom, and that was the Sanjay Mod installer beta.